A push to build a shopping area in a booming part of Albuquerque where there really aren't many places to shop or eat the Southwest Mesa, but opinions are mixed on the idea. News 13's Natalie Wattis is live at Unser and Sage Road with more details. Natalie. People on this side of town will tell you there's a lot of homes here, but not a lot of businesses. Well, now a developer wants to put in a marketplace and officials say this side of town is primed for new growth. In the times that you've come here over the years, have you seen this area change? Very little, very little. The Southwest Mesa's development has been a unique process. We have a huge population on this side of town, and unfortunately, as it was developed, uh, lots of commercial spaces were um, became residential, and we lack some of the same commercial space and commercial businesses that many areas of the city um, have. Councillor Pena says this created a situation where people have to travel too far to shop or eat. People are just really, um, for lack of a better word, really chomping at the bit to have new businesses, businesses come to the area because of that long need for, for services close by. Now a developer is trying to build a quote marketplace here on the corner of Unser and Sage. There are no details on what it would include aside from a drive through restaurant. The Environmental Planning Commission is recommending approval of this new marketplace. But people we spoke with in the area have mixed opinions. I'm not real happy about it because it, it, it encourages an entity that I'm not real happy with, the type of people that will show up there and, and other things that other, other places are having problems with as well as so the homeless and the you know, people that don't just have nothing else to do. I would think that would help the area because we were kind of far from all, all the other places. And having one right there close would be nice. <laughs> we have just a Walmart there on 98th and Sage, and we have Smith's right there on Coors and Central. So it's not that far, but maybe for some people who don't have the ability to have, uh, have a car, just on bike or on foot, that would be nice to them. Now, we reached out to the developer to find out what the timeline for this project might look like, but we did not hear back. Back to you. All right, thank you, Natalie. Now that two miles bridge to Dennis Chavez has only two businesses, a Walgreens and a drive-through cafe.